All right, I uh, built the box for the dozer. <clears throat> we'll be going into storage here, so. Um, a lot of you don't know it that I'm actually in the military and getting ready to go to Afghanistan, so the movers are going to be coming pretty quick. And uh, I've dealt with these guys numerous times, so I know, you know, they'll show up with a cardboard box and try to put this guy in there and just not going to work or they're just going to take a blanket and wrap around it. Um, that's what they did with my RC tank here and they broke the barrel off of it and it's all messed up and so I'm not going to take any chances with the dozer so build a box here fits in there just perfect got some little PVC pieces in there that's going to hold the tracks and everything right in place and it's going to be a snug fit so got the other side here and got the top so basically I'll show you this or not but <clears throat> this is going to slide on just like so take a couple screws screw down the side of course it's going to come up just a little bit so it's all flush. There we go. Then uh, got a little lip around the edge here, a little quarter inch lip, and a uh, piece of plywood here. I'll go on top. Maybe here. I had it there and it fits actually pretty damn snug. So there it is. So now it's all it's all gonna be all sealed up in a box. It'll be all good and tight. So the design of the box and how tight it fits in there, you just can't put you know drop it down from the top in so you gotta load it kinda like a conex box so. so we'll just put it inside here. Of course, I'm not leaving right away, but uh, I just wanted to show you the box. Uh, see, it fits perfectly in there. Definitely not going to be sliding around in there at all. Then, uh, Down underneath there, you can see how it fits tight on both sides. Now put the blade down. So it all the way to the back up against this piece of plywood here then um, fit tight against the front actually probably should go back just a little bit and then the side here left a quarter inch gap there for the plywood there, put that on there, 
take the lid, put it on. I even put arrows on there because I know this thing will probably end upside down. So that's it. There it is. Take some screws and seal it all up and um, see it in a year. But I still got some time left and uh, waiting on some snow to come. So I got some snow to plow. But that's it.